Well, Odin, must be really nice to get back out there. Yeah, I mean, I'm loving it. Um, it's been a while since I've been able to play a game, obviously with the situations that have affected everyone. Uh, but now I'm delighted to get back out there with the boys and uh, express, express myself. How did you feel you did in, the, in that? It's a favoured role of yours, isn't it? That sort yeah. of 10 role just off the front. Yeah, no, it's where, it's where I've played throughout the academy. It's where I feel best. Um, so now it's a joy me playing in there uh, and obviously among the, amongst the lads as well. So it's nice, good. You look sharp, you look bright. A couple of chances as well, a couple of shots just went wide. Yeah, no, I think they're the little, the little details I need to add to my game, the, the final product. Still early on in the season, as I said, I haven't played a game in a while. So that little final product, get my shot away, um, that will all come. But no, I'm, I'm happy with, with my progression so far. You mentioned that you, you haven't played for a while. It, it has been a while, hasn't it? I mean, let's, let's go through last season. Forest Green Rovers, you did well there, got injured, and then lockdown happened. You came back, and we all thought you would be eligible to yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. No, it's been a very frustrating one. Uh, obviously, getting injured at the time I did, um, and then getting back fit, thinking I was going to play games. Uh, and then, obviously, the whole COVID situation happened. Um, and then coming back in from that, thinking I was eligible, uh, and unfortunately, it wasn't. Um, and I think if I was, that would been a good chance for me to get a couple of games under my belt, get more experience uh, going into the season. But as you said, everything happens for a reason. Um, so hopefully I just kick start the season on the front foot. It must have been frustrating for you because you, you could have been involved in those nine games. But in the end, you just had to train knowing that, that you couldn't play, you couldn't get out on the field and help the lads. Well, no, definitely. You said it yourself. I think that's the most important thing, training. Um, as soon as I knew I couldn't actually play, it was just about giving 100% every time I'd come out on this training pitch uh, and just constantly trying to improve. You know, I'm a player that wants to improve. I'm never happy with, with what I've done or, or what I might be able to do. It's always wanting to improve, so that's the main thing. And how has this pre-season been for you? How do you feel? No, I feel really good. As I said, I'm loving it. Uh, I think the new gaff has come in and gave us, gave us all um, a little, I don't know, it's the atmosphere and everything feels completely different to what it did last year. Um, no, just a positive energy around the whole training ground myself. I feel good within myself. I feel good with how I'm playing, with all the lads. Everything's positive. And how is Aitor Karanka? How, how would you sum up his sort of coaching, his methodology? Uh, it's very intense. I think, you know, the first, the first two weeks now, even put for our paces. But no, that's exactly what we need. we need. We need that high intensity and we need to take it into games uh, as we did today. And we know, obviously, he's still looking to, to strengthen the squad. And are you confident that when we get up and running the season, gets going, that, you know, it, it will be a good campaign for us? Yeah, no, definitely. Whatever player he brings in, I'm pretty sure he's going to be, uh, there'll be good players. Uh, and it'll, that'll, that'll benefit the whole team, you know. I think the more quality comes in, the more the more everyone else has to improve to keep their to keep their shirt, to, to secure their place in the team. So, no, a healthy competition is definitely what we need here. Um, and as I said, we've got it so far, so the players we bring in is only going to add to that. And just finally, what, what are your personal ambitions? You really want to make that big, big breakthrough after you know yeah, coming yeah, to yeah. the fore early on last season? No, definitely. I think this season's all about securing that spot in the team. Uh, hopefully it's this year. Um, but yeah, no, definitely just securing, getting as many game times as I can and hopefully creating and scoring as many goals as I can. That's what I'm in the team to do.